What's up guys and welcome back to my on Sun and Moon coverage video and today we have the Elements Theory or Elements Theory. This is a small little theory I've sort of devised or seen thrown around everywhere on the internet that's come up since we had the Coral Coral sort of information on Saturday. So in the leak of Coral Coral as well as the two new Pokemon Iwanko and can't say that name without laughing. Iwanko and Nekoala being revealed and some information about forms and other stuff and all of that. Um, basically there was this tiny little section at the bottom which mentioned that Iwanko along with the three starter Pokemon for the Alola region all share a secret. Now what their secret is we don't really know and there were several sort of snippets I saw about on the internet. One of them was you know that the secret was in their small body so you know a secret that they can use sort of thing. Um, so it's going to be interesting because we don't know what that is, okay, is it maybe, oh they can evolve and they're just trolling us, possibly, is it possibly that they will free stage evolutions, maybe, but we've seen that loads of times in the Pokemon franchise before, why on earth would it be sort of any notes, any interest now, it's a bit weird. So one theory that's being sort of thrown around is because it looks like we're getting synchro evolution or synchronization or whatever you might want to call it in uh, Sun and Moon because obviously we have those bands with the sort of the, the symbols on it. Um, some people are saying, oh maybe you know, maybe it means they're all gonna have synchro evolutions and because the secret is in their small bodies, they can access it, you know, as a Litten, as a Rowlet, as a Poplier for example. So when you catch them after you maybe maybe it has to be friendship, maybe you have to have a good friendship value, who knows? Um, and after you know, after a small amount of time you can start using synchro with them. Um, which maybe gives them extra I wouldn't expect it to be extra forms, let's just throw it out now. Synchro with in the anime, yes, you have Ash Greninja in its different form. However, Synchro in the games, I believe, will not be different forms. I believe it will simply just be a stat boost in battle, you know, an extra sort of phase or you know, whatever. Um, but you know, Rowlet might enter this, this you know, Synchro form or Synchro with its trainer uh, and just get increased. Maybe I don't know what Rowlet would get increased attack and speed, maybe. Maybe Lin gets increased special attack. You know, you guys get the idea. So that's what some people are saying. You know, synchro is related to them, and then Iwanko being the extra one because it's a Pokemon that also has ac access to Synchro, whereas, for example, um, the koala doesn't, so Synchro wouldn't be for every single Pokemon in every single evolution line, it would be for a select few, just how like, you know, some final evolution Pokemon have mega evolution sort of thing. Who knows? But the other thing to think about is now that we have these four, we have something else to talk about, and that's the alchemy theory. Now I'm not going to go over it again in this video, if I remember I will try and link my two videos on it down below already, but in alchemy there are four elements, earth, water, air and fire each representing well, a different element. And if we uh, if we throw up some of these, we can match some Pokemon here. Litten obviously being fire, Popplio obviously being water, and we have two left. Let's say, you know, well, obviously we have a Wanko, he's a, he's a rock type, so we're going to put him in the earth section. And then finally if we sling Rowlet there, in the air one, it's part flying type, so air does classify there, we have the four elements of alchemy. So assuming that a Wanko is a Pokemon you can get fairly early on, we see it in the very first village, so we can assume it's catchable on the first island, hopefully. That would mean that mm, these four Pokemon are all the elements, obviously. It's, like, it's not like Iwanko is a normal type, for example. Um, they're all elemental types, almost, if you can class Earth as an element, which it really is. They're all elemental types, all ele elemental Pokemon. So the four elements, the four bases of a Lola sort of thing. And they might have all, all have access to Synchro, as we have said. So it might be another way to tie an alchemy theory to sort of the games and to how it all works. You know, saying that these are the ones that symbolise the elements. We also have the elements possibly symbolising the islands in the Alola region, so it might be another link there. But it just seems weird how you've got, you know, these simple four Pokemon. Um, you know, it's a rock type rather than being a normal type or something else like that. They could have put any Pokemon here that has Synchro if they really wanted to tease it like this. Um, but they specifically chose, obviously, the three starters which are fire, water, and air. But Rowlet, and then we chose an Earth one rather than a, you know, it could have been Poison, could have been Psychic. No, it's Rock for Earth. So it's a possible link there to Alchemy Theory. Let me know what you think down below. It's only a small little theory, you know, uh, element theory, obviously. Um, so it's, it's not anything huge. But let me know down below what you think of this because it's just a little Easter egg, I guess, again. Another way they're linking it all in and making Alchemy actually sort of integral <laughs> to the plot, to the premise of Sun and Moon. Let me know what you think down below, but for now, this is going to be it for me for today. I'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, my friends.